Hi everyone, I'm not going to open the video in my usual way because this video is going up on both of my YouTube channels. It's going up on the BrickMap30 channel as well as the uh, Life of an Englishman channel because I want the views of all my subscribers on, well, over both channels. Because uh, this little project I've got in mind will, in a positive way I hope, affect both channels. Um, as in, make some improvements and make things a bit easier for me to make better content, I hope, for both channels. I'm just getting itch at the worst possible time, don't you? Anywho, before I get into that, I just want to apologise to my subscribers on my LEGO channel, on the BrickMap30 channel, for the lack of uploads for quite a few months now. I think I've only done like two or three uploads this year, and we're, what, six months into the year now, so... Um, I'll explain more on that as we get into the video, because otherwise I'll be saying the same thing twice. So, let's get started, shall we? Um, you may remember that I'd mentioned, I think on both channels actually, that I wanted to move from this flat to have some, you know, in a little bungalow with a garden or a little one bedroom house somewhere with a garden. Um, so I could set up a shed or something in there for the Lego or the railway, whatever I chose. I'd have the extra space in the attic as well. Um, however, I've decided to hold off on that for a couple of years at least. Mainly because with things as they are at the moment, you know, with a certain viral thing going around, even though things are looking a bit better at the minute, it's messed up a lot of daily things and my mum has been trying to do a mutual exchange which you can do here in the UK if you're renting through a housing association um, for the past six months and they're actually trying for the second time because the first time their landlord or their housing association which is the same as mine messed it up big time um, Anyway, so it just felt like it would be too much of a faff at the moment and too much stress to actually do it and it would take ages to sort something out anyway so I thought I'll hold off for a couple of years at least and I'll just make the best of what I've got at the minute basically of this space and the brick shed outside unless I can talk my mum and stepdad into uh, me getting a shed and putting it in their garden when they finally get to move. That would actually be great. <laughs> anyway, the plan. And I am open to ideas. If you think I should do something different, leave it in the comments below. If you've got a better idea or what you think is a better idea, let me know in the comments. I'm this is why I'm doing this video. I want input. But anyway, my idea is to build a purpose-built work area. Because I've got at least three different hobbies that actually would benefit from that. You know, building Lego models. At the moment, I've got no bench apart from here to build on. And that is quite cramped. That is why I've put off, you know, trying to live stream building something or live stream repairing something because I just can't get the angles here with the camera and I haven't got the room um, so that's what I want to do I want to build a purpose built little work area it has got to be gigantic um, however the only space I've got is currently occupied by a ton of Lego mainly because I've got nowhere else to put it and that is one of the reasons I felt unmotivated to put any content up on my LEGO channel because it's all stacked up the corner there or up that end of my lounge, see? All sort of hickety-pickety, there's no real order or anything there and I've tried to build, you know, with it all up there and it is, it's difficult. It's difficult, I have to keep moving things around because I've got you know, containers stacked in front of containers. Um, yeah, and it's just put me off, basically, from doing anything related to the LEGO channel. 
Um, so what I need to do, because that's where I want to put my workbench, I need to rehome that lot somewhere. And I don't mean sell it, get rid of it, I mean rehome it somewhere in the flat. Or even outside the flat. Um, the only space I've got outside the flat that would be suitable is the outside closet, just outside the front door. That would actually be perfect for this, because I could put shelving up either side of the door, and then organise all that lot up either side, so I could just write out a parts list here of what I need to build a project, and go out there and get them, and then bring them back. It would be Sounds simple in principle, doesn't it? Sounds great. Whether that would actually work in practice, I don't know. Um, <laughs> things always sound great in theory. Anyway, that's where another problem lies. I've got a very large collection of these things on shelves out there, which would need to be moved before I could put the Lego in there. Um, closet also doubles up as storage as well but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, the only other storage I've got is the brick shed downstairs um, which is actually full of other roadwork related stuff <laughs> at the minute which I think if I have to I could part with I could get rid of it. Um, there's a couple of bits that I do really want to keep but I think a lot of it, if I have to, to create room, I'll get rid of it, I'll ditch it, give it away, whatever. But what I would need to do to get them lamps into that brick shed, I would need some racking or something in there. So I could sit all these lamps on it. In fact, I would actually prefer that. Um, but at the moment, there's five bikes in there. There's over a hundred traffic cones. There's one vintage moped. And I've got to somehow get another vintage moped in there. At some point. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and a bunch of other crap, basically. Um, yeah. Actually, a lot of it. A lot of the traffic cones are actually stacked out. Um, um, <coughs> excuse me. They're stacked out of the way anyway. Um, and I think I would actually only need racking down one side of that shed, maybe down the back wall as well. That should be enough to house my lamps. Because um, it would actually create a bit more room than what I've got in here actually. Uh, so, that's what I want to do. I can't think of any other way around it. Um, what I want to do for a bench, my idea is, um, I could just have a permanent bench that, you know, is out all the time, but I was thinking of doing something similar. Uh, like I did with the model railway, where the model railway folds up and I've got two catches mounted on the ceiling so I can lock it in place. That gives me the room back when I'm not doing anything with the model railway. That was the whole point of it. Um, I've actually got that down at the minute because I've been having a bit of a tinker. Um, so I was thinking of doing that with the bench up there so I'd only lose the lounge space when I'm working because when I'm not doing anything with it I can fold it up out of the way. But I was also thinking of um, installing like pigeonholes, I suppose, like a little shelving thing on the back wall just to put all my little tools and things in, brushes and screwdrivers. and Because I plan to use it not just to build Lego on, but to um, restore die casts. Because I really miss doing that at the minute, but the amount of overspray, because I didn't have a proper spray booth and I was doing it in the kitchen. I got all over the kitchen, even though I tried covering it with an old um, an old blanket. I'm not doing that again. Um, so I want to get a proper little spray 
booze. In fact, I could just borrow my stepdad's. Actually, if I could find it, he would probably let me borrow it now because he's not using it. He's got nowhere to use it at the minute. Um, plus, I'd want to get myself a little uh, air spray, a little um, airbrushing gun as well. Um, but I would also use it for like the model railway stuff to assemble buildings and things on there and make my little trees and things up. Because at the moment I've got nowhere again apart from here <laughs> to actually sit and do anything like that. Plus I'd want to set it up so I could have a camera permanently set up over there for you know specific filming use over there. Um, and maybe somehow I could rig it so I could live stream from over there as well. Even if I have to run cables across the floor, then so be it. Um, I'm sure there's one other hobby I had that I would uh, needed that bench for. Oh, repairing things. Such as little radios and whatnot. I've actually got one in bits under the desk at the minute. Um, it does work, sort of. It works when you turn it on, but then after a few seconds the volume fades away to nothing. So there's um, obviously an amplifier issue there somewhere. It's not the control knob, the volume control knob, I've cleaned all that. Um, so it's in bits at the minute for me to look at when I feel up to it. <laughs> but yeah, just repairing little things like that, I enjoy doing that, so um, maybe I'll buy some um, circuit kits on eBay and get all sorts of funky little kits on there, cheap as anything. Actually, I could do a buying some of them just to practice some soldering on, to be honest. My soldering's not the best. It works, it gets the job done, but it's not the best. Need a bit of practice. Um, so. Yeah, I don't know if I want to make it so it folds up. Obviously, if I made it so the bench folded up out of the way when it's out of use, it wouldn't fall flat against the wall because I would have that space there for the shelving and pigeonholes and things to store all the bits and bombs in. Uh, which is not a problem, I can mount a latch up on the wall just like I did in the ceiling in the bedroom. Um, but I'm not really sure if I need to do that. So I actually haven't got much else here in the lounge, have I? Still got a nice big space down the middle. Even if I had the bench, even if it only came out as far as the um, current two sofas do, that should be more than enough room actually. Actually, way more than enough space, I don't need it quite that deep. So I've just realised these sofas don't go flush up against the wall either, because the way the uh, legs are designed. Hmm, I don't know. What do you guys think? What should I do? I could also put some improved lighting up there. I've got some big old fluorescent lights so I could mount one of those up on the ceiling. Specifically for a work light over there. Just like I've got these spotlights up here just for some extra lighting. You know, there would be so much benefits to doing this. I want to get this boarded up as well. So I can put some more shelving up in here. Actually, I'm not sure I'd want to put more shelving up in here. I might move that shelf over there when I can get that wall cleared. And let's put some um, normal home decorations or something up there, like pictures or something. On my clock. Anywho, I'm going to end the video here because I've uh, put my idea across. As I said, I'm open to ideas and opinions um, I don't know how long it would take me to do any of this because I'm on a budget you know I only get what well, they call it now PIP and uh, ESA so I'm not sort of made of money as they say so I'd have to do it in stages 
but the first stage would be buying some racking or shelving of some sort to put down in that shed. I don't need anything stupidly expensive, I just want something cheap. I might take a look on Amazon later. I've got Amazon Prime so I might as well use it. Actually I have recently used it, just going off subject a bit. I need <laughs> needed some hard drives for the computer because my gaming drive is actually nearly full. I never thought I would actually download so many indie games that I would actually fill up a 500 gig hard drive. I thought I was such a light gamer, I'd only have like half a dozen, dozen or so games, but nope. I'm getting so into my indie games, I love indie games at the minute, I filled that hard drive up so I need more space. My brother um, said I should go on Amazon and get a couple of two terabyte drives for like 50, 60 quid. So I bought two. <laughs> So I'm just waiting for them to arrive in the mail and I could swap all the data over and uh, have plenty of room. I bought two so I had I could use the other one just for a general storage drive. A couple of Western Digitals, I won't use Seagates. Um, I've had so many Seagates die on me between like two or three computers that I've just, I don't trust them anymore. It could be because they were old drives, I don't know, but at the moment I'm not very trusting of Seagate. Anyway, I digressed again. I'm going to end the video here. Any suggestions you might have, ideas, comments, whatever, down in the comments section below. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.